so yeah. Hey friends, hey friends, hey friends, it's me Alana, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> You are all some flowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, it is me, Alana. Welcome back to my channel. For this video, I wanted to do the anti-TBR tag. I've seen this tag going around. It looks really fun. So I got my handy dandy notebook with the questions written down. So my plan is to just read them off and hopefully have some interesting answers for you. So we shall see. I haven't planned any of my answers. I'm just kind of gonna go with the flow and see what comes out of here. Question number one is a popular book everyone loves that you have no interest in reading. Let's see. Okay, so the first book that popped up into my head is Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. So, Everybody has loved this book. Everybody that I've seen read it has loved it. And I just have no interest in reading it. I realize that I'm not a big dark academia person in general. And from the content that I've heard this book holds, it just does not appeal to me. I've read Lee Bardugo's other stuff and I find her... It writing somewhat enjoyable but I think I want to stick to the YA lane that she has going on and not to the adult side because that seems too adult for me and I'm 24 so but yeah just no interest in reading this this just does not interest me doesn't feed to my need to buy really just gonna leave it there for everybody else to enjoy Number two, a classic book or author you don't have any interest in reading. Okay, let me think about this. So, I really don't have any interest in reading Tolkien, to be honest. I mean, I feel like he's kind of a classic, kind of not. I don't really know why, I just, it does not appeal to me. His books are kind of long, <laughs> and I'm just really not there at my reading level to, I feel like, comprehend his writing. That could change. I've, I'm never going to say I would never read his books, but just right now, I have really no interest in picking up anything he's written. Though I really do admire everybody who has, because he writes a lot of things. <laughs> Number... Three, an author whose books you have no interest in reading. First person that popped up into my head for that is Maggie Steve Otter. I don't know why, I just don't really have an interest in her books. Don't really plan on picking them up anytime soon. Again, not saying I would never read any of her books or The Raven Cycle or anything like that, but just don't really have any interest currently. Okay, 3.2, a problematic author whose books you have no interest in reading. So I don't really have a list, like I don't really keep track of all the problematic authors that come about because there are so many. But honestly, the first person I could think of, well the first person I thought of was Jay Asher, but I've actually read a Jay Asher book, so I was like, can't use that. But the next person I thought of that was revealed to be just as problematic as Jay Asher was James Dashner. I've never been interested in his books, really not interested to read his books now. The Maze Runner series doesn't really sound that intriguing to me. I watched the movie, wasn't that great. The only reason why I semi kind of enjoyed it was because Dylan O'Brien was in it and he's such a beautiful being to look at. So other than that though, I have no interest to read any of his books. They kind of don't really appeal to me anyways. Four, an author you have read a couple of books from and have decided their books are not for you. Ooh, that's an interesting one. Let me think about this. That's a hard one because I rarely DNF authors like that if that makes sense i'm gonna have to say and i hate to say this because i don't think i've 
annexed her books completely but this specific series or trilogy I did annex I'm gonna say the Charlotte Holmes series by Brittany Cavallero I really did not like those books I just found them kind of boring they really didn't intrigue me but I don't want to say that I will never read her books because I feel like that's such a stretch and honestly I feel like I couldn't say that about any author because anything could happen but that specific trilogy I realized that I didn't really want to pick up anymore so I guess if that fits the question other than that I don't really have anybody because again I'm not the type of person to be like oh I'll never read from that author unless like they're tr a trash human being <laughs> I've never been the type of person where I'm like oh I've read a couple of their books and I don't see myself reading anything else written by them because I feel like an author for me could have like one series I didn't like and then I could switch around to another book they have written and be like oh my gosh I love this book so much so I feel like just that's just kind of the person I am so I can't really say for sure that I'm like never gonna read anything from them hello editing Alana here so as I was editing this portion and I was thinking about this question further I realized I do have an author and that's Veronica Roth and that's because the way that she handled Divergent really turned me off of her as an author. And so I just refused to pick up anything else by Veronica Roth for the rest of my life, basically. I've had people, like, kind of try and, like, tempt me to read her other books. But I was so heartbroken and disappointed with how Divergent ended and just how that whole series trilogy was handled that I literally cannot trust her as an author to read any more of her books. So there's my solid for sure answer. Five, a genre you have no interest in or a genre you tried to get into and couldn't. So currently, and I say this like very lightly, sci-fi is not a genre that I typically will lean towards especially like adult sci-fi because everything that ends up happening tends to go over my head and I just really don't understand what's going on so that's usually a genre I don't typically reach for and right now it's not a genre I'm striving to reach for like obviously I'm probably gonna want to change that and just at least try it out but for right now we're not doing that six a book you have bought but will never read okay so that's not something i do typically <laughs> i never say i'm not gonna read this book usually i'm just like okay it's gonna go on next year's list <laughs> and i prolong it maybe there's one book that i might get rid of i can show you that but that doesn't necessarily mean I'm not gonna read it. It just means that right now the chance is optimal at the moment. So the book that I thought of that I'm like, I could read, but I also may just end up giving away because the chances are kind of low right now for me to get to it. And that is Shielded by Kaylin Flanders. I, this was a fairy loot book box pick and it's really pretty, but I just, don't know if I have an interest in reading this so this might just be end up being a book I give away number seven a series you have no interest in reading or a series you started and DNF'd so <laughs> I'm gonna apologize in advance to my friends who enjoy this series aka Teresa I am so sorry <laughs> but I think I think I'm going to have to DNF Shatter Me by Tahara Mafi <laughs> because this series I just can't get behind it. I had a friend spoil it for me because I was just like I don't even know where this series is going and when I learned what the ending of this series kind of looked like I was definitely not interested anymore i just i was skeptical when i first read the book and i gave this like three stars but then as like i thought about it more and more i just don't 
get the appeal. I think Adam is just kind of boring. And then Warner is kind of toxic. So the fact that there are so many people who ship Warner is crazy to me. And maybe I'm just missing something. But I can't feel sympathy for him because, like, he's a little crazy. I just... That's just where I'm at. I just, I have no words how else to describe how I feel because it's like, I feel like people aren't gonna really relate. <laughs> I'm probably like the minority here who's like, I really don't think I want to finish this. But just like, mm, I just, I don't know. So it's definitely one I'm considering DNFing. And last question, a new release you have no interest in reading. Honestly, there are so many. I don't really want to pinpoint one because I feel like that's weird. But I feel like if I don't know it, then that means I'm not interested. Because <laughs> it's not in my head or on my radar. Right now, all the books I can think of that are coming out are books that I'm interested in, you know? So, like, you're only really going to pay attention to the books that you're interested in. At least that's the way it is for me. So if I can't think of something that I'm not interested in, then that means it's just not there. I don't know what I'm saying, but... That's it. That is the anti-TVR tag. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Sorry if I rambled, but yeah. If you like the video, please like it down below. I'm gonna tag any of my friends who wanna do this. If you're watching this, do it. If you have any comments, please leave them all down below in the comment section. If you're not good at commenting, I'm gonna go ahead and say leave me an emoji down below. Tell me a series that you dnf'd and couldn't finish because it was so bad <laughs> and if you want to see more videos from me please subscribe down below you're awesome flowers in a world full of weeds mm -hmm.